Todo mundo pronto? Pronto, todo mundo pronto. Então vamos. This is Cabo Frio. That's why I come here. Hi everyone, I'm in Brazil. I'm here visiting family and we came here to Cabo Frio. It's a beach community about two hours, two and a half maybe from Rio. Um, we came here for New Year's. So in this video, I'm going to show you a little bit of the main beach here. Also, the city, the nearby city of Arraial do Cabo, and New Year's Eve in Cabo Frio. But before we get started, let me just remind you of one thing. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Let's go enjoy the beach. So today is our first day here. Weather is great, everything is beautiful. Look at that. But forecast is not that great for the rest of the week. Oh, que temos? Um chá. Um chá. Um. Guaraná-Vitão. Um chá mate. Sendo que já foi consumido um pouco, né? Umas oito, no caso. <risos> é básico. Tava falando pra ele, você conhece elas desde pequenininha. Que titinha, né? É, tudo que titinha. Tá bom, não passa aqui, tá? Tá ótimo. Tchau. Obrigada, tchau. Tchau. This is Praia do Forte, or Fort Beach, the most famous in Cabo Frio. Normally when I come here the water is a little bit cold, but today we're so lucky, it's perfect. The biggest differential in this beach here is the color of the water. It's really crystal clear, transparent, but also the sand, it's so fine. It looks like flowers, look at this. Kids getting lost everywhere, so people clap to call the attention of the parents. Let's see what's the situation here now. <laughs> Much emptier. Yeah, but uh, it's still enough for a couple of hours. A lot of people come here to the beaches and don't even imagine that Cabo Frio is also a historical city. For example, it's the seventh oldest city in Brazil. And in addition to Portugal, the colonizers, it was already controlled by France and Spain. Other nations tried to invade this area here as well, like the Netherlands. All this for commercial purposes, of course. This area was full of a really fine wood called Pau Brasil, very valuable in Europe. So because of that, a fortress was built all the way to that end. That's the St. Matthew's Fort. You can go over there for a visit, it's free. There are some cannons on display, old ones. And of course, you have an amazing view. Time for lunch and to walk a little bit in town. Guys, this is my mom. Does anyone think they would look similar? We are similar. It's missing the sea. I guess I'll go give some help. <laughs> Shops. Where you buy souvenirs, sunglasses, and bikinis, and whatever you can find here. 
Can you tell how much I love hats? Along the beach, there are lots of options for restaurants, and even along the beach, there are some kiosks too. The food is expensive, and if you come just one block behind, you are over this place here where uh, there are lots of shops selling souvenirs and uh, little things. Food is really cheap here. If you're driving here in Cabo Frio, you gotta be very careful where you park. Go read the rules because they do give tickets. There are agents from the city checking every single car. We were just walking along here and we saw them giving tickets to all these cars here. They didn't have the parking permit. They do check and there are different regulations for cars with licenses from Cabo Frio and licenses from different cities. Good morning, the last few days I enjoyed a lot the beach with and without the sun, but it was good anyways. And today's a special day, party day. It's Dad's birthday. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> Meu pedaço, sem se todos me mereciam, mas vai para uma pessoa muito especial. Ah, 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 Obrigada. Obrigada. Carinho, We like cakes here so much that we sing happy birthday for breakfast. Cloudy, but beach day, anyways. Trinta e duas latinhas de cerveja. Here at the beach, you can rent chairs, an umbrella, and a table. It costs 50 reais. Alternatively, you can spend 50 reais in uh, one of the vendors here, and the chairs and umbrella are free. But better yet, bring your own, and you save all that money. This is what we do. And this is the cost here where we are, but I have a but like close to the dunes. It might be a different price somewhere else. For cheese lovers, this is a must. Cheese on a stick. everything for sale, but mostly bikinis and beachwear. A lot of people come to Cabo Frio exactly to shop. You know, there's a street here called Bikini Street. It's famous for having factory prices. Actually, it used to be like that. Today, not so much. Beautiful. All this here is Praia do Forte. Forte Beach. All over. Look at how busy it is, how packed it is. From here on, that way, this is the Dunes Beach, Praia das Dunas. If you continue a little bit more, you arrive at the Rocket Beach, Praia do Foguete, and all the way in the end is Arraial do Cabo. It's a different city. You can walk, you know, all this. In fact, a lot of people come here exactly for that. If you walk from here to that end, where the fortress is, it's about 30 minutes. And if you go towards the other end, it's about two hours. Now I'm gonna show you guys another great place here in Cabo Frio. It's the canal. There are lots of bars and restaurants here. It's really nice, especially at night. This is where we're having my dad's barbecue lunch. We say lunch, but it's actually 6.30 in the afternoon. Saúde! Picanha, my favorite beef in Brazil. Love it. Excelente. Qual é o veredito do almoço? Ah, muito bom. E a farofa? Parabéns, Bidi, felicidade. A farofa que eu prefiro é da pequena tábua, mas essa aqui tá boa também. Eu não sei. Já foi? 
postou tudo no Facebook? Já, já postei tudo. Aqui é o Boulevard Canal, onde saem os passeios de barcos e pessoas vêm pescar assim, durante o dia para se pegar um peixe, peixe pequeno, brincadeira, né? Lá no fundo tem a ponte, a antiga ponte do Costa Azul, hoje está já reformada, que vai para Búzios e vai para a Rua dos Biquínis, mas também é famosa. No fundo, Costa Azul e Aticlu. Você vem pescar aí? Vem, assim de dia, antes de pescar. <risos> É pegar, bom? Né? bom? Pegar um peixinho, um carapicu, um peixinho pequenininho, só de tração, um negócio que pode ver a gente pescando. Você foi ontem então na Rua dos Biquínis, né? Como é que tava lá? Ah, muito bom. Muita gente. Muita gente? Mas e os preços? Ah, os preços eu achei um pouquinho salgados. <risos> Mas muitos modelos bonitos, comprei dois maiores muito bonitos, tinha muita gente, muito quente, muito calor, muito abafado. Mas, mas muito, muito, muita coisa legal lá para vender. Chapéu, short, saída. Ah, e o, o barco? Não tinha um barco aqui que a pessoa ia para lá? Não tem mais não? Não, o barco não está mais funcionando não. Agora tem que ir a pé mesmo, atravessar a ponte ou então ir de carro. O barco não está mais funcionando. Não. Mas vale a pena. Tem muita coisa <risos> bonita lá. Look at that! They fixed the sea of Cabo Frio! Well guys, I'm closing this video here. If you've ever been to Cabo Frio, let me know what your favorite places are. I've been coming here since basically when I was a kid and I've seen this city change a lot. <laughs> so in the next video I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of Arraial do Cabo, the nearby city. And uh, also New Year's Eve at Praia do Forte, the Fort Beach. It's the most famous one in the area. If you have not subscribed yet to my channel, please do it and activate the notification so that you don't miss the next video, which is New Year's Eve.